Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Leroy Sané car to review today. Really annoying to do with the top divisions. I had to use, uh, I had to buy Timo Werner's card because I don't have any Bundesliga players in my team. So I would just use the Bruno Fernandes, Bernardo Silva for the Premier League objectives. And then I would use Timo Werner as the only person I can get the Bundesliga and German objectives for. So it was kind of annoying in the top divisions, but it is what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, we're taking a look at a car that is six foot tall, high medium work rates, left footed with a four star skill move and four star weak foot capability. So the fact that this card no longer only has the three star weak foot is definitely a huge plus because it makes the card incredibly usable. Uh, very similar in regards to Bernardo Silva, right? Bernardo Silva, once he got that four star weak foot, super fun card to use. His moments was nice. The lack of weak foot just wasn't really a nice thing to have, right? But with Leroy Sané, I, I really enjoyed using his moments card. The only real thing I really didn't enjoy was the weak foot part, right? Because uh, it makes a card very linear. So the fact that he does have the four-star weak foot um, is definitely a welcome inc inclusion. In regards to traits, he has power free kick trait, flare traits. In regards to in-game attributes, he's got 96 acceleration, 99 sprint speed. Shooting looks great on the card with 98 attacking position, 95 finishing, 99 shot power. Oh man, how tall is this guy? Oh, there's so many positions I can see this guy being used in. With these stats, I definitely need to improve his dribbling, but he can even be a striker because of the four-star weak foot improvement. Yeah, he doesn't have the traits, but this guy moves like crazy, right? And I know from his moments card, so it might be very similar with this card. We're going to have to obviously take a look at that, but I'm kind of thinking of that right now. Uh, but shooting, like I said, for base card stats look very good. His passing for base card stats look great as well. Is this going to be like an engine flex with this card? Marksman sniper finisher. Marksman sniper finisher. Marksman gives him doesn't give him the balance boost. Sniper gives him the gives him the balance boost, agility, a little bit of dribbling, composure, finishing twenty ninety nine. And then what was the other one? Finisher engine would give him what? Perfect balance, perfect agility. While he already has ninety nine shot power, ninety five finishing. I'd probably. Yeah, I'd probably slap an engine on him, to be honest. Let me let me try the card out with an engine first. That's what I'm going to do on my main account, and then we'll see what's up. I'm going to see if uh, if it makes more sense to give him other stuff, because honestly, you're not really going to notice the difference between 95 finishing and 99, because unless you do this consistent shots anyways, not necessarily a big deal, right? But with Leroy Sané, passing looks great. Dribbling, we need to improve. So with the engine, we're essentially making it perfect with 91 composure. Um, with physical, he actually has physical stats too. 86 strength, 95 stamina, 78 jumping, all of that good stuff. Uh, a big reason why I want to improve his balance as much as possible is because he's a six foot player, right? I want him to feel as responsive as possible. So a couple of ways I see myself using this card in my team is uh, a lot of different ways, actually. So we'll uh, switch some things here and there. We'll switch some things here and there. So I do potentially see him being a very good striker, if anything, right? Um, the way that this team is lined up, there's a lot of like different options I can go with, but I do want to try him out in the right forward position uh, in a 4-3-2-1, just to see what he's like if he com comes inside, takes shots with his left foot, stuff like that. Um, I do also want to try him out in a possession-based 4-2-3-1, where he is actually going to be playing as my striker. I'll use uh, I'll use Hullet as a CDM in this team. Use Hullet as a CDM. Kevin De Bruyne. Kevin De Bruyne, Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes is capable of playing on the sides. We can totally put him there. Not really a big deal. Uh, we'll put Kevin De Bruyne in the middle with Leroy Sané. Leroy Sané's only instructions will be stay central. I actually want him to stay central, get him behind, and don't come back on defense. Or the striker position. And then the 4 4 2 should be very interesting as well with this card in the team. Definitely want to try him up top in the left striker position with. Uh, yep, yeah, De Bruyne should be good up top. So yeah, let's get into a game, see how he plays, guys. Um, yeah, we'll see what's up with this card in like different positions because honestly, I, I feel like it, there's a lot of competence with this card, right? So let me just go get the engine coming style really quickly and then uh, we'll try him out in game. Looks like this guy's also doing the objectives, too. All right, let's try him out in the... Uh, let's try him out in the 4 2 3 one first. I just hope that everyone knows that if you are a defensive counter-attacking player, you're an absolute scrub lord. So I have to switch 
from the 4-2-3-1 because I want to attack the heck out of these guys. Look at him already making that aggressive run right there. Ooh, his dribbling is nice with the engine, my boy. That left stick dribble really quick. Nice passes. Hullet and Hullet and Lauren Blanc are making the worst passes right now. Oh, lovely. Near post angle. Nicely done there. Um, 4-3-2-1 so far. Um, he's playing the right forward position well. Like he's staying outside uh, as he should right now. I, I have it kind of like set up that way. His dribbling definitely feels really nice with the engine chemistry style boost, so that's a huge plus. He's definitely a runner, though. You can see that he's already making that aggressive run forward. See what his dribbling is like here in these tight situations. Ball roll, near post strike. Beautiful little goal right there. I have it set up this way because of the way that the striker is in a false nine. Um, I like that they, these guys stay out wide because in that way I can kind of build up the play with my midfielders uh, mostly while the, while the guys in the side, they kind of like stretch out the play, you know? Keeps the fullbacks away from me when I just want to deal with the center backs mostly when people are not playing super defensive. But, you know, I have to destroy these guys, you know? Touch, skill move. Ooh, skill move came off really good there. Considering that the... Uh, the touch wasn't the best. Finesse shot? Uh, finesse shots are not going to be that good. At the end of the day, boys, when you don't have uh, the trait, power strike? Ah, it's coming off of a skill move a little bit there. Uh, when you don't have the trait, finesse shots are never going to be like, a, like, oh, but this guy actually has some pretty good finesse shots. That's never really the case. Like, it can happen in game where they take a good finesse shot, but... Like, Bernardo Silva sometimes has that, but, you know. Once he gets himself on his left foot, he actually strikes the ball really, really nicely. Let's try him out in the 4-4-2. Um, the All right, since that guy left, uh, we're going to go ahead and switch some things right here. Uh, because of characteristics of certain players, right? So with this card right here, um, we're actually going to go ahead and take off. Stay central. Go on balance for Leroy Sané. It always depends. Like, it's never just like, hey, guys, make sure you always use stay central getting behind. It really just depends on the characteristics of a player, right? Like, Timo Werner is great on stay central getting behind. Like, even when I was using his uh, 83 card, that works perfectly. But not every card does, right? Sometimes you always have to change those 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 things just in case but yeah i do have them in the 442 as well i actually just remembered that the way that i have the 442 set up i can't have him on the false nine no he could be on the gut again and behind and then come back and defense is fine it's just this guy's on the false nine there we go yeah i have that set up for like another team when i have like bruno fernandez playing with like i don't know someone else up top like joan felix or something do, 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 do. This guy is going to use Delaney. Okay, so this guy will use two CDMs, probably either a 442 or 4231. Since he'll play like wide ish, I have to analyze and see if he's going to play a 4231, but I'm just going to go ahead and switch to the 4231 right away. I like that even on the stay central getting behind instruction right there, he didn't actually fully commit that run. That was pretty nice. Hmm, that run is not the one I specifically wanted right there. Very angled. If he played off of my dribble right there in that situation, I would have scored that opportunity. So maybe it's a it's a it's a thing where I have to take off stay central. I just have getting behind on the card, maybe. I'm telling you guys, his dribbling, I, I, give him an engine, boys. I'm telling you, give him an engine. He's actually super fun with the engine. What a great goal. You are a very skilled opponent. <laughs> yeah, his left stick dribbling is actually very quick. I like that. I didn't think it was going to be that quick, but it actually is. So that's cool.
All right. Hmm. It's 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 weird. I actually, <laughs> that one run I didn't like that he did, but maybe I would just have to compensate for it. I think Stay Central getting behind is is still the flex with him. If I'm being completely transparent with you guys. I just feel like in a 4-4-2, right, when you have strikers, their natural ability needs to be, hey, I'm going to stick in the middle, you know, no matter what. Like, even if I'm on balance instructions, I'll do that. I feel like Leroy Sonny likes to kind of, like, linger to the sides, then go into the middle. You know, I feel like I want my striker to not do that, you know what I'm saying? See, like that, I don't want him to push to the side right there. It would be pointless. The side runs in this game are not really, like, worth it that much. Like, spreading out the play... It's it's only worth spreading out the play with certain formations because of the way that the other attackers move. You know what I'm saying? It's just like one of those things. No, Leroy, Leroy, that situation right there. You gotta you gotta move to the side, man. I, I, it's not a card I would use as a striker. I'm not gonna blame him because he definitely feels like a card you want to use mostly on the sides. I just want to see if he was usable as a striker. He just doesn't move like a striker. When you make that pass right there, you need your player to do that angled run, like instantly. Like I make that pass go into the middle instantly, right? Like Leroy Sonny doesn't really, uh, he's not really that type of player. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so we have to change some things here and there because the balance of this team is completely off. I'll show you guys what I would normally do. So, let's play some regular FIFA. I think a few things are off in regards to the performance of this team. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this, right? So, we're going to go ahead and put Leroy Sané playing on the actual left attack mid position. Uh, we're going to have Silva. I wouldn't necessarily recommend Bruno Fernandes up top, but he could definitely get the job done. What I kind of want to do, actually, is tell him to stay central and get him behind. And these guys will be on comeback and defense. And then cut past lane, stay back while attacking. So I don't recommend using Sané as a striker. Um, his movement could be a preference for you. It's 100% it's down to preference. It's not that it's terrible. It's just that he doesn't feel like someone you want to use as a striker. It's, he definitely feels like someone you want to use on the side. Specifically a 4-4-2 um, in the left mid position, in my opinion. Left mid position, he played well in the 4-3-2-1 when I tried him there. Oof. Very, very quick on the skill moves right there. You will actually often see Leroy Sané move into the middle of the pitch, uh, even if he's playing in a 4-2-3-1. Very, very noticeable. Um, his last card used to do the same thing too, the moments card. Not as often as this one is. Like This one really likes to stay in the middle, but the last one definitely was like a player that liked to move all over the pitch too. Nicely done. Beautiful goal right there, man. Look how narrow he pushes. You see how he's always in the middle? He like, he like slowly transitions there, then he goes back up top, you see? That run right there, nice. Let's try to strike from there. Oh, way too much power right there. Good movement though, man. Nice, touch and go movement was really nice right there. Touch, touch was great there too. See? Even under pressure, he's nice too. Just wanted to like really force the dribbles out of him there just to see what he's like under pressure and stuff. I don't like how uh, interceptions in this game work, man. Like you, you you cover the general area so well and you don't, nothing happens, you know? Like even if you press the tackle button to actually intercept, it's like, nope. But this game is terrible in multiple ways, so it's not just that. <laughs> Thank you. 
There we go. Nice little 89th minute goal right there. Beautiful play. All right, guys. So final verdict on this Leroy Sonic card. He's actually pretty solid considering the circumstances of this game. Um, I think he actually plays really well. Um, I like the engine chemistry style a lot because I feel like I really noticed the balance boost on the card because... I didn't think he was going to feel that responsive, right? So the fact that I can boost his dribbling to be as good as possible while giving him 97 reactions, boosting his acceleration by a plus three, as well as his passing stats, he feels like a really nice card to use in the midfield. I wouldn't necessarily recommend using him as a striker because when he's being played in the striker position, you can tell that he doesn't belong there. He can definitely be used there, but he doesn't belong there. And a 4-4-2 playing in the, le in the left mid position, um... It's it's an interesting card because for me personally, he's like one of the few cards that I actually prefer mostly on the left side being a left-footed player. It actually works really well for Leroy Sané's card because of the types of movements that he likes to make, right? So like I was saying, left attacking mid position, I feel like he'd be great. Uh, left forward position in a 4-3-2-1 where you tell the guy to drift wide, get him behind, I feel like he'd be great. His dribbling is way better than I thought it was going to be because normally with players like this, right? Even with base card stats looking like that with 91 balance and six foot height with, oh, he has a lean body type, very helpful. But I, I've used players in the past where the dribbling didn't feel that good. And his dribbling actually felt pretty solid. Obviously not as good as like Messi or Bernardo Silva, but still very responsive. Like better than, uh, I would say better than Bruno Fernandes. The, uh, that's the comparison I would make, if anything. Even, even like the Kevin De Bruyne card. But Kevin De Bruyne has like poor agility and balance. But you guys get what I'm saying. It's a great card. You guys should definitely get the gameplay objective. This game is, tr is trash, but he's a good card. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.